Hey, I'm Leslie Marine, and this is The Rundown. A woman is dead after a stabbing inside a Mid-City nightclub. It happened just before one Sunday morning inside the Catch One nightclub on Pico Boulevard, just a couple of blocks east of Crenshaw. Now, police say the suspect is another woman in her 20s. She is in custody. A protest is set for today outside Santa Anita Park after the second horse death there in as many days. On Saturday, a four-year-old gelding suffered a right front ankle fracture. On Friday, a six-year-old gelding suffered the same fracture. Both had to be euthanized. The two deaths brings the total to at least 41 horse deaths since December 2018. Hawthorne-based SpaceX successfully launched a rocket to test its astronaut safety system. The rocket lifted off from Cape Canaveral and blew up as planned 90 seconds later, with the astronaut capsule landing in the ocean eight minutes after that. The test was critical for the company's plans to start taking astronauts to the International Space Station later this year. And the L.A. Zoo's Campo Grilla Reserve has a new resident, a brand new baby. The L.A. Zoo announced that 25-year-old critically injured western lowland gorilla and Gia gave birth to her first baby early Saturday morning. This is the first gorilla birth at the LA Zoo in over 20 years. Now here's meteorologist Alex Piston with a look at your forecast. Hi Leslie, warmer temperatures on tap today. We are soaring well above average. We will see 70s along the coast, upper 70s for the metro areas and some of the valleys this afternoon. Filtered, sun, filtered sunshine as we see clouds streaming overhead that will continue into our Monday and changes by Tuesday. Temperatures cooling off Tuesday into Wednesday and then high pressure building back over the region will warm us back up by the end of the week. And remember, we're always streaming 24-7. You can find CBSN Los Angeles on CBSLA.com and the free CBS News app. I'm Leslie Marine.